Hey guys. Well, I've made some real progress on the Star Wars uh, rear blaster. So let's, uh, and oh, actually, and some real progress on a customer's wand. So I've been, I've cut, been carving two. I'm just going to show you one now because the other one's for one of our subscribers, actually. And um, I don't want to show it until it's, it, it, well, actually, until he opens it. So. I'm not going to show that one, but I am going to show you a customer's one that um, was ordered on Etsy. And I'll explain a little about it as I show you it. So, let's take a look, shall we? So, here we are. We have the uh, Ray's blaster from Star Wars, um, The Force Awakens. This is a blaster that was given to her by Han Solo. Um, I've spent a lot of the day working on this piece and the barrel. Um, now... This piece proved quite problematic because it's needed a lot of sanding and a lot of filling. And I'm still not 100% with it just yet. I need some more filler and I need some more primer. So I'm going to um, wet sand these again tomorrow. And then probably do another couple of coats of the filler primer. Along with um, some more filler as well. As you can see that it's some white... It's there with the filler that I'm filling in at the front as well. Um, so yeah, th this still needs a lot of work. Um, but it's it's come along a treat. Um, as you can see there, it's, it's going to look lovely painted all silver. Um, the barrel has come up really nice. I'm really pleased. How smooth that is. Not, none of the printing lines are in there. Getting them all out on that on that barrel um i'm not going to be able to get them all out in here but i think that the, the when i come to weather it that'll hide a lot of the crimes for me um but i have getting the vast majority of the of the printing lines out not as success as successful as the the handles and the, the handle part which I'm getting all of the, the printing lines out. To be fair, it wasn't too difficult to be uh, to be totally honest. It's it, it was it was a good print um, that came out really nice. Um, all credit to the to the designer and printer of this, because um, when you wet sand these pieces, they, they do actually come out really nice. I mean that's the difference is here. This is wet sanded, this isn't, and you can see the you can see the difference. So. One more coat of the filler primer with the, with these two pieces, I think, and they'll be ready for the the gloss black, and then the final top coat of the chrome paint. And that's nearly there. Um, I've really enjoyed doing this piece actually, and I'm it it's inspired me to do to take on and do a lot more three D print apart from the three D printed TARDIS consoles I'm doing obviously, but um, yeah. Um, it, it's an, it certainly has inspired me to do a lot more. So what have we got? What next? Well, this is a customer's wand. Uh, now let me explain this. This is carved from willow wood, hand carved. Um, the only two pieces of information I was given about this wand because it was a custom order was that um, it was for a customer's daughter, and that it was. It needed to incorporate two things, a dragon and stars. Um, I'm st I'm still stuck on the stars bit, but the dragon I found pretty simple. Um, I had some dragon eyes, uh, stick on dragon eyes here, that's a little glass eye there. Um, so I drilled a hole with a force and a drill bit into the wood. Um, then I carved out all my wand. So that's all hand carved there. I've still got to sand the air, uh, the shaft of it, so I'd like it smoother. Um, that's all hand carved, and then for for this, the pummel piece here. My camera's going a little bit mad. As you can see, can you see there? This eye will fall out as a turn because I haven't glued it in yet. But um, can you see there? I've I've sort of like carved it in such a way that it looks like scales. Can you see that? Hopefully you can. Have it. Camera and just say pick it up. So you can see you've got the smooth shaft of the wand there, and then you get to the. Now when that when this is all stained, 
I'll, I'll lightly sand this so all the raised sections will really pop. Now, I thought it, it looks like a large... Come on, camera, work. There we go. Um, it looked like a large claw. Can you see that? How, how it sort of protrudes like that? So you've got the shaft of the wand as the claw, and then you've got this piece. So it's, so it's, sort of, it's like that. It looks like a large, giant claw. So you'd hold it like that in your hand. Yeah, I'm really pleased. And you've got the, I said obviously you've got the eye which goes in there. That just finishes it off. So I'm thinking like a dark red colour maybe. And lightly sand it in places around here to really make the scale, the dragon scale section of it pop. But as for the stars, I'm not sure. I don't want to put anything on the shaft of the wand. I obviously don't want to put anything on here. So what that leaves me with is the the butt end of the wand here. Um, I could carve out a star here. Maybe put some glow-in-the-dark paint in it. And then um, that would be a, a nice, another extra feature for, the, for that person um, who, who will own this wand. And this has a case that will go with it. I'll, 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 um, I'll vlog the entire thing once it's finished, obviously. And I plan this wand is going to be finished tomorrow um so yeah this is i'll have this in the vlog finished for tomorrow my camera is not behaving tonight i do apologize ladies and gents but there we go yeah also that eye has a nice little effect when it catches the light can you see that how it's it kind of shimmers that's really nice I, I didn't notice that before but i've just noticed it now but yeah you can see the um the scale effect there. I think it's a really nice touch. Now it said it looks like a large claw. Yeah. So there we go. That's two pieces. The Star Wars blaster. And the hand carved wand. Which will be finished tomorrow. So there we go, ladies and gents. Now tomorrow I'm going to be going to Newcastle to meet Paula. And she'll be coming, uh, coming back to mine. So yeah, that's one thing we'll do. So we'll have a bit of a, we'll have a mixture tomorrow. We'll have a, a usual vlog, and we'll have the finishing of the, uh, hand carved one tomorrow as well. Stay tuned for that. Uh, I've been said I'm off, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Bye.